It's time for Everything Noob, your source for all things gaming. Hello, welcome back to the Everything Noob podcast. Now with technical difficulties. <laughs> At least for you video viewers. That's an upgrade? I thought it was a feature. No. <laughs> no, everything's all messed up. There we go. I fixed it. So, welcome to the Everything New Podcast. This is episode 49. We're almost at episode 50. Holy oh, crap. Wow, that's pretty good. You know what else we're almost at? One year! One year One noobiversary. Year. What does that mean? Happy yeah, we've been doing this a whole, a whole year. I know. Well, we, we took a break, but we still started on October 9th yeah. of last year. And now we're coming up to that again, and next Monday will be October 7th, so our next show won't be at the one-year mark, but that's the closest we're going to be to it if yeah. we do these every Monday night. So, well, yeah, one year. Check that out. I don't know. We'll have to do something special for that. I feel old. <laughs> we are old. <laughs> Maybe we should just quit after one year. <laughs> we're just done. Yeah, oh. you know what? Uh... That reminds me of, uh, you guys, you guys have heard of uh, Charles Trippy, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, he had a YouTube channel, and he decided to vlog every single day for a year. Mm -hmm. It's 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 gone p way past that. It's like, uh, what? That's years now. Five, five years or something like that? And he's yeah. in the Guinness Book of World Records for it. Wow. For not missing one day. That's nuts. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm not that motivated. We've we couldn't even keep this going <laughs> consistently yeah, I know. once a week for a while, and this guy's vlogging every day. We've got a handle on it now, though. No, we're good. We're the best. Go team! Go team! <laughs> Assassin. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. I remember that. So uh, there's a lot going on right now. It's all scattered about, though, from from television news to gaming news. I think I'm most excited about Grand Theft Auto Online coming out tomorrow, according to this article. It'll be linked in the show notes. That's crazy. Do you actually yeah. have the game? Yes. I, I bit the bullet, went and bought the game. I, everyone was telling me that I'm going to be waiting forever, if I'm waiting for PC release. And there's still no announcement on it. They announced the online coming out tomorrow. Still no PC announcement. All right. No, it, it's true. You probably will be waiting forever for PC version. So what probably. I did, the, the reason I wanted the game PC, like, primarily, was so I can stream it. You can't, I can't do that on my console. I, I tried buying an HD PVR. It didn't work with my television. Some weird, really, really rare occasion, I suppose. That's what they say. Yeah. I think it was crap. <laughs> but, yeah, basically, I went and looked for an internal capture card. Something really basic, an HDMI uh, capture card, and I found one that people recommended for streaming and stuff. So eventually, I'll get that, and then I'll be able to live stream stuff off my PS3. So well, there you go. And if you get the PS4, it'll already have a Twitch app in there, right? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I think that's what, what I was think... one of the one of the things they were talking about. Yeah, I think or you're right. it'll have a capture card anyway, or a capture app in there, or something. I think you're right, but I don't know if uh, I, it'll be a long time before I get a PS4. I'm definitely not getting an Xbox One. And oh, you're not going to be there midnight line for the release? No. <laughs> <laughs> I waited. Yeah. How long did I wait until buying Grand Theft Auto? I think I can wait for a, a PlayStation. Man, yeah. I waited a few weeks. So it's fun though. They did a really good job. There's a few things that are kind of frustrating about it. I heard about glitches, but experiencing them sucks. Did you guys hear about the glitch where the cars disappear? In your, in I your heard garage. Yeah. yeah. Every time you switch between a character, whatever they were wearing, like if you had them, I had my characters dressed in like suits and stuff, and they always divert, revert back to their default clothing. And whatever car you had stored in your personal safe house garage was always gone, no matter what. Every time. Oh, oh wow. That, yeah. Bad. But there yeah, is. That would be bad. There is one thing that's kind of nice. They have these random garages around. For each character, they get like their own random a garage away from their safe house. So mm -hmm. that's where I've been storing my cars that I want to keep. But you have to run or steal another car to get to it, so it's kind of counterproductive. But now yeah. the cars I really like, I hide in there, and they don't seem to go anywhere. I oh, think well, it's just good. coded differently or something. But, yeah, that sucks. I'll fix that. It's bizarre. I hope so. Especially There's... if you've got a really nice car, you know, and you've been babying the whole thing, you know, driving real slow. Oh, you can upgrade and... the crap out of it and spend all kinds of money. and Yeah, 
I want to keep it around. Stick it in the garage, and you log in the next day, and it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> now I keep it in another garage. I beef it up, and then I don't drive it. I'm just too afraid. Well, I don't want to lose it. That's one thing I never understood about the safe houses. I never really collected cars in those games. I'm like, this is pointless, because I'm just going to steal a car and then destroy it promptly three blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, my driving, same thing. <laughs> yeah. No, some of them are really nice. They have really nice cars. I don't want to wreck it. I can't, you know what I mean? So yeah. is the driving really a lot better in oh, this? Oh, yeah. 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 It's that's, no that's contest. That, that's different. A lot more realistic. Sometimes it feels like a racing game, and you can buy different wheels, and they, they all perform differently. There's off-road wheels, so if you put that, you could put can those on put like any car. Can you put on your wheels for snow? I, I mean, I don't know why California would be getting snow. I haven't but... even seen snow, so I haven't seen an option for chains. I want the chains. option for chains on my wheels. <laughs> I, uh, nope, I think you stumped him. <laughs> yes! Why is that good? Why, why are you so excited about them not having features? <laughs> yeah, um, that would be wild. Because I want up them, I don't know. They, they brought back buying property, which they didn't oh, have in see? Grand Theft Auto 4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe that. You got so much money in Grand Theft Auto 4 and nothing to spend it on. Oh, wow, yeah. What but, would, you know, what? Uh, you you could take your friends on dates, because that costs that's money. Right. <laughs> yeah, $10. <laughs> you should have been taking your friends out to drinks more often. Oh, man. I don't even think you can do that in this game. You have people texting you and calling you, but there's no motivation to talk to them. And if you do call, they'll give you a mission. They're not going to make you take them out for a night on the town. They give you a mission. Yeah. So that's okay. I like the missions a lot better, too. I like the, the fact that you arrange a heist. These characters kind of work for themselves, whereas in the past I feel like the main character always got thrown into, you know, thrown into it, and he was just at the will of other people. Am well, I before you that were right? just one guy. Well, yeah. So Tommy now Versetti. Now you're a crew. Tommy Versetti, like, flies into Miami and – or Vice City, and then all of a sudden they – all this – all this shit hits the fan, and there's nothing. That's it. You know what I mean? Then you're just stuck yeah. being a criminal. In this game, they're kind of motivated in the story to be their own. Like they, you know, they find their own motivation to become a criminal. And then you arrange all these heists, and you can go about doing it different ways. So, right. Yeah, and it's... sometimes you work together with the other characters, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I like it. Haven't got that far, but no, I have. I I've, I've watched a lot, lot of videos. <laughs> My yeah. sister had beaten it recently, and she's was like raving about it. And she's like, "Now I need to do all the extra stuff." <laughs> oh and, like, wow! She's, already? She's made some custom cars, and they were all like some variation of pink. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I thought it was cool though, because she showed me some pictures of her she, modded cars. She didn't make you a funky uh, roller coaster. No. <laughs> so online. I saw that video. That was cool. <laughs> Online is going to be kind of chaotic, I think. I think it's going to be a lot like SimCity for the first couple of weeks. Oh, I... Yeah. Most definitely. If you don't know what we're talking about, SimCity, basically no one could play for the first couple of weeks. So yeah. if you were looking forward to it, maybe wait till November. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe and that's when it'll be out on PC. Maybe December. Maybe next year sometime. And they'll summer. slowly introduce all the features that they promised when you first bought the game back <laughs> into the game, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Online's going to be fun, but we gosh, we've talked about GTA way too much. I just wanted to point that out. I I just found that announcement and I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to uh yeah. to sit I'm in the lobby and not able to connect. Play it when it comes to PC. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. I'll just go play Thief whenever that comes out. Thief. What is Thief again? I've no heard of it. You're a thief and you just go around heisting and stealing. Is it modern day? Play... Is it no, 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 no. Bows and arrows. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll just play some prototype. That's my... Uh, have you ever seen that game? Oh, I've yeah, seen yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, that looks yeah. pretty fun. It's very much kind of like Grand Theft Auto in a sense, but it's completely different. <laughs> well, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Besides you're a mutant, you know? <laughs> yeah, besides you're a mutant. But, um, yeah, it's fun. There's uh, right. there's other really big news, though. PC-wise, Steam has uh, come out with their next announcement. Uh, uh, we oh, talked okay. about the OS last time, right? Right, and then they've in, they've said that other two uh, announcements after before we had this show, so 
oh. didn't get a chance to get to the second one. Yeah, the sec- well... Yeah, so that's the controller? Yes. Yeah, the controller was the second And the box. And Which the box. everyone kind of saw that coming. I, the controller seems like something that I wouldn't make a big announcement about. Like I, I kind of, I think I remember joking about that either on the podcast or, or off the podcast, saying, "Oh, what's the next announcement going to be? A controller and then a box, and then that's what they did." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, because uh, from what I understand, you can buy the controller completely separate from a box altogether and use it for your PC or for your own OS Steam yeah. OS box that you make. So it's a separate, separate from the box itself. So you can actually just buy just the controller and. Do That's we it. want this and controller? It works different than a normal controller, though, because it feels like a trackball, supposedly, like in your hands. Like a trackball that's too big to fit in the controller. It's like simulated. And I've heard it's really weird, but res- very responsive. Yeah. That, it looks well, weird. Then, it doesn't look like it's a comfortable controller no, at all. I, you know what? No, I think it looks com- comfortable, just it looks ugly. That is the ugliest controller I've ever seen. Well, you know what I think, though, because I, I, you know, one of the reasons why I don't get a console is because I'm not really good at playing games with a, a gamepad. A lot of the reasons why is because when I'm fingering those little uh, joysticks and I'm in a tight situation, my finger flips, slips off and it goes right to the center, you know what I mean? With this kind of controller, you, you can't have that happening. It's, it's just not going to happen. You're not going to get you know, those like, slippery fingers. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to end up in a sticky situation. <laughs> sticky situation God. with a joystick. Or <laughs> that does not sound good. <laughs> wow, moving on. All right. It it doesn't. It looks like something out of the 1980s. I don't like the way it looks at all. But everyone's saying that the functionality is actually pretty practical. So we'll yeah. have to see. I'd probably still buy yeah. it because you know what? When you have an Xbox controller and like or a PlayStation controller, and you're always kind of switching between them if, when you're a console gamer, it's kind of hard to... Sometimes the games aren't aren't set right. So you turn on a game that's supposed to have controller functionality, and it just says push button 3 to perform X action. What? What's button 3? And you're sitting there yeah, like, exactly. pushing all the buttons, and, and you're killing people you're not supposed to kill, and game over, and yeah. you never found out what button 3 is. So yeah. this is going to be, I'm thinking, the point of the controller is to take away from that. And uh, the buttons, you know what it should do is the button should light up like a digital display. I know that's probably a lot more expensive, but that would be ideal, right? So oh, yeah, they huh. can light up like one, two, three, and 4. So when it says push button 3, you look down at your controller and 3 is lit up. And you yeah. go, oh, <laughs> you know <laughs> there exactly it is. where it's Dude. at. Really looks at their controller when they're using no it, one. though. Uh, well, that's like, probably why I'm not good it, with a console. Because I look it, at the you controller. You have to. I know. But... It looks really classical, though. With the joysticks, joysticks, quote unquote, being w- in the position they're at. The buttons are in the middle, as opposed to the Actually, Xbox controller. Actually, that's supposed to be a touch screen. Like yeah, that's, that's a, touch touch a prototype picture, but like it'll be a touch screen in there. But right how... now, they have buttons as a placeholder for. I don't know what reason. It, it looks like it's going to be hard to push the buttons still because they're still going to be in the center. Your hands are going to be out here, and then you're going to try to push the buttons in the center? You know what I mean? No, I'm not yeah. sure. The way controllers are designed now, let me grab this, is the joysticks are down here, right, at the bottom, and my, my thumbs are kind of already in the middle, and then I can easily take them out and push the buttons here. Now my thumbs are going to be out here, and i got to do this to push buttons. Wait. You can do that. It's just like I don't. I know this is only very a visual conversation. <laughs> well, here's the thing: we don't know, but I wonder if the actual because the the two discs that you put your fingers on that are kind of like control everything. I wonder if maybe they have buttons in them at specific points, and those are your buttons. Now that would be cool because then you won't have to move anywhere. You're moving your hands, your fingers, you know, like the touch screen, and then when you got to push A, you just push the up. Yeah. You just push up. That could be you know, it. That would be. Maybe that's you know, that why they're be. not joysticks. They, they, that could be it. It could be a combo, like a combo. That would be kind of nice. One thing that I know is is this is going to be a very competitive box. It's going to be very affordable because Steam is already a successful business. They make they sell they make games, they sell games. 
they've, you know, um, they can sell they, it at a loss. They're going to have their own yeah. OS. They don't have to sit there and license through Microsoft or Apple. They got their have their own OS, so it's going to be very it, competitive. Yeah, that's I, the I developer's can, job now is to make sure they get the pro appropriate licenses, and the console doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, and so it's going to be. I'm sure people will well, get behind it, or at least the indie developers will, because Steam's been very kind to the indie game community, especially on PC. Yeah. Yeah. I will see. I'm. I'm still. I'm very excited about it. I'm optimistic. The controller. I'm not sure. I like the look of it. But if they're going for a fully universal experience, then they're probably doing it right. I'm gonna trust them. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be the best and most responsive PC controller ever released to this date. That was intended for PC. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're well, gonna. Yeah, they're not gonna just throw anything out there. I think they're. They've really worked hard on this. They've been working for what three years that I've known. You I'll know, say on something. Microsoft did a really good job making their controller functional for for the PC from day one with the Xbox 360. They yeah. they really did because when I first got one, they they came in two types, wireless and wired, and the wired had a USB port, and it was for either charging it or using it as a controller. And I I remember asking my friends, I'm like, could I plug this into my PC? They're like, yeah, that's the point of it. They want to make it so you can take it onto your PC. I'm thinking, I, I might not ever use that. And now, this this sits on my desk all the time, this Xbox controller, because I want, you know, I want to play Spelunky. Oh, I got one exclusively to use with my PC. Yeah. And the wireless adapter is really nice. What I'm kind of, I was thinking about this the other day, though. I think you need one wireless adapter per controller, and that kind of sucks. Oh. Oh. Man. I haven't tried it. But I believe one wireless adapter is married to one controller, so that means you need to buy another one if you want two people to play. And Spelunky, I, if I want my friend to play, I can't play online. It needs to be on the same screen, which I found out a lot later. I was bummed out about. And they can't use a controller unless it's you know, a not, not on my wireless thing. I have four Xbox controllers, and I can only use one because I don't have any. I never got one of those wires for it. I don't know why I didn't, but I never got one of the USB plugs for it. Huh. Right, dirt cheap now. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. But uh, um, what was I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> you know what's funny is I can't read minds. I know. Kind of weird. Well, I don't know. You better I didn't get the learning. upgrade yet. Upgrade. Uh, I know. Oh, I see. Jack me into the Matrix. <laughs> uh, so for some reason... Oh, it had to do with the beta. The beta. That they're, this is the thing that, that, that Steam is doing that I don't think any of the other consoles have done. And if they've done, it's usually in-house, I think, with their own techs and stuff. But they're actually starting a beta program. They're giving out 300 boxes for the normal Steam user to try out before yeah. they actually well, release it. Well, you're supposed to beta test it. Right, right. Well, but yeah. I'm saying they're, but they're, they said it's completely free. They even said on there that you could do whatever you want with it. You put your own OS on there if you want. But, you know, you're, you're, you're going to test it first. You're going to yeah. help us out, you know what I mean? They're not just going to send it to anybody. You're probably but, obligated um, to complete the beta period, and then it's yours to keep afterwards. Correct, yeah. I don't Isn't think that rare? I expect you to send it, send it out. Hmm? Isn't that rare these days where they give you something to beta test and you actually get to keep it? Well, I know Razer does that for their um, their supporters and their, um, you know, any, there's a lot of YouTubers that, that are actually... Um, um, they get free product, so they either give to their YouTube viewers or whatever for promotion. Yeah. yeah. Promotion purposes. So I know there's companies that do stuff like that, but uh, as far as beta testing, um, the 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 uh, what is that thing called? The, the the Oculus Rift. Yeah. Yeah. That three. You still had to pay to get into the beta. You still had to pay. You still had to pay. I think it was like three hundred bucks or something like that. To yeah, get no, it was two hundred, three hundred dollars. And and to beta test it. I don't want. So it's like well, I don't want a thing on my face when I'm trying to play games. Yeah, but it's I know. virtual reality. No, it's not. It's a screen attached to your eyelids that's probably frying <laughs> your brain. Ah, oh, that thing is so stupid. It's cool, but it's stupid at the same time. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it, it's, it's the best of its kind. But that's because yeah. no one else bothered to make one because no one else wants a giant heavy screen on, a monitor attached to their head. Well, here's the thing now, okay? Remember the 3DS? Okay, so we get the 3DS and we turn on the 3D switch. We play a game Lies. for a few minutes. 
Oh, that's cool. Turn it off and never use it yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be the same thing with this. We're going to be putting a game in there. We're going to be playing it for a few hours. Oh, this is really cool. And then turn it off and never touch it. I know. Oh, I'm dizzy. I got to take this off. I'll use my monitor yeah. until I I get you I get the, you know, the mental capacity to handle this thing. And and, yeah, then, uh, and then they'll upgrade it with 3D. Oh, JC God. in chat for the real says, depth. He said that Nintendo did it once, and they did. They tried this uh, Nintendo 3D system that you put on your face. Oh, the Virtual Boy. The Virtual Boy, yeah. And that was a flop. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That was awful. No, Oculus Rift is... uh, It's cool, and like I said, I'm sure it's really... It's a good... It's good for what it is, but... No thanks. I I don't think I, I don't see virtual reality being that in the future. I think if you want games to get any more like depth to them, you need to have unfortunately a very expensive system. I'm envisioning something like Gamer, like the movie Gamer. Have you seen that? Yeah, where you put it. Well, yeah, you, where there's you, a room uh, dedicated to this, and it's you're in a sphere, and the floor moves under you while you walk, and that's how you play the game. You run around this this sphere with it, the whole thing's on like, like a monitor, and that's really. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. That's the ultimate. In my opinion, there's you know, no there's no substitute. There's no way and maybe even wear a suit that like you know, when you get shot it, it stabs you or something. I don't know. Oh <laughs> yeah. what <laughs> what? One life for real. <laughs> I'm playing Minecraft hardcore today, let's hope we don't die. <laughs> wow. Oh, best live stream ever. Snuff streams. <laughs> Yeah. Yikes. Twitch would clear uh, who wants to really join fast? my PvP server? <laughs> join my PvP server. Yeah, killing each other. Uh. No thanks. I'll pass. I'll pass on the PvP server. <laughs> uh. I, I think I'll pass on the costume that stabs me. <laughs> Maybe I'll take the electrical shock costume, though. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I'll think about that. Everyone getting all kinds of like radiation... <laughs> And stuff, yeah. Because this thing always shocking their bodies. But I think the steam, the steam thing. I think this is going to be a good thing here. This is this is going to be top of the line. It's going to be excellent. I think. I don't. I don't see this thing flopping. Well, because all it is is a PC dedicated to video games. I don't think it's right. going to flop. And I think buying a separate box for that's a good idea because not everyone wants to convert their main, their, their primary system. If you're going to spend all that money, you're going to use this for more than games. So no one wants to put an entire operating system dedicated to games on their super expensive computer. They're going to want to buy a second computer and build that up to be a gaming machine, or they can get a Steam box. So right. I, I can see it selling pretty well. And here's the thing. When when Steam announced that they were going to um, um, back up Linux, and they were going to actually support Linux on their games... Uh, they, when they started that out, when they started, they said, "Okay, we're going to start offering uh, Linux games." It, they started out with like 20 games or something like that, and a lot of them were their games, their own Valve's yeah. games. But now I think there's like well over 300, even more, and it's just that the the developers are starting to make Linux games, and that's really going to support the the Steam OS because it is Linux. And so that's really going to be cool. And I did find out and verify that, yes, if it's a Steam Play game, it'll say Steam Play next to it before you purchase it, then mm-hmm. you can actually, if you decide, okay, I don't want to use PC anymore, I want to use Apple, and you log into your account, and it's a Steam Play game, you can download the Apple version of that game for free. Okay. So you can do that with Linux and Apple and with um, Windows. Whatever version with available. Windows. When the version's available, exactly. So That's when you cool. purchase a Steam Play game, and they're slowly but surely offering all their games as Steam Play games, which most of them are anyway. I haven't seen any of them that weren't. So I'm sure there's a there you go. I mean, as soon titles. as you get, you get the Steam box, and they start porting over all these games to Linux, goodbye Microsoft. <laughs> I'm happy. Goodbye. Yeah, that's <laughs> gonna that's gonna kill Microsoft. I don't think it will. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm ready to like just put the knife at Microsoft. I am too. I, after Windows 8, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. Yeah. yeah after. Uh, oh, I. You know what? I wrote a blog about this on the Drew and Dan podcast blog, 
but I think it's worth mentioning. Microsoft has decided to start uh, for at least up until like at the end of October, I think. They're going to be buying your old iPhones from you. iPhones 4 and f- 4S and 5. They're going to be buying those off you for $200 in store credit. And then with that, I'm pretty sure they didn't say this in the article, but I'm guessing the gimmick is to get you to buy a Windows phone. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you probably have to buy a Windows phone to replace it. Uh, we well, they give you $200 find... in store credit, so you could pro- probably buy a tablet with that. You know. Well, no, yeah. you'd have to buy like a Windows tablet. You have to buy something Windows, Windows related, phone yes. Or yeah, to replace it. Yeah. With. No, they'll get. They'll, and it has they'll, to be probably like certain versions too. You can't buy like an old one. They'll give you Microsoft points. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, more points. <laughs> oh good, good thing those are expired or expiring soon. <laughs> yeah. So I. Better I run just, in and spend those. That thought occurred to me like that. Wow, they're really trying to get people to switch to Windows Phone. They suck. Like, it's they're, too they're late. Awful. It's too what, late, Is there like guys? 20 apps? <laughs> 20 apps available? Yeah, no, no developers are <laughs> developing for it. it. It's just way too late. They're trying to be the next Apple, and had they have done that maybe 10 years ago, it would have worked just fine. I Because there was a time, and you can kind of do this now, but it's not very easy. There was a time where I really wanted my computer, my Xbox, to, to you know communicate better. I want to be able mm-hmm. to have something running on my PC and then just kind of go, oh, I want to sit in bed and watch this, turn on my Xbox and have it in the other room. And it was like almost impossible. Now that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make all the devices run together very smoothly. And Apple's been able to do that for a while now. You can get yeah, yeah. you can get an Apple PC, an Apple TV, and an iPhone, and all of it can store in the cloud. And then if you take a picture with your iPhone, all of a sudden, and you turn around, it could be on your screensaver on your TV behind you. I mean, <laughs> that's how... That's how good their stuff works, but it's yeah, you know, it's expensive. So had Microsoft jumped on that, you know, boat earlier, a lot more people would, you know, would be less anti-Microsoft. <laughs> but one thing about my Mac, Macintosh and uh, Apple is is when you buy a computer from them, um, it's expensive. Yeah. But it's it's usually ahead of progress. In other words, it's 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 ahead. In other words. You get the best that you could possibly get, and it'll last you for five, maybe ten years, you know? And the thing is, their OS is always free when they upgrade. You just download the OS. But it better be free, you know what I mean? You pay so much money for it, and then... Add the Geek Squad, or no... No, I just don't like the exclusivity of Apple. Not the Geek Squad. (laughs) I don't don't like how they're exclusive. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apple I don't have Apple products, so I don't visit nerds the to get my stuff bar. done. And you only get to use them for a year, and then when your warranty expires, if you didn't buy an extended warranty, they they rape you. But yeah, no, it, it's just a very prissy secret club when when you go all Mac. Yeah, and you know, and no offense it, to Mac users secret, out there. Like, do they make sacrifices? Yeah, they out of goats they, they and... sacrifice. Uh, apples. They sacrifice apple apples and worms. Not? Yeah, they sacrifice. Apples and worms. They yeah. have sacrificial apple worm meetings where they have a bunch of worms on the ground and they drop apples on them. Like, take that. that actually, I don't know why. They, they sacrifice Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah. That that was, so... uh, are you sure they don't throw apples through windows? <laughs> no, no. Worms like to hide in apples, and they don't like worms in their computers, so they kill worms. It's like some weird message. That, I don't know. They're weird. I'll never work there again. Uh-huh. I did oh. watch that Steve <laughs> Jobs movie. That was... What what's the uniform? I'm just curious. Like, what's the attire for this? Polos and cargo shorts. And you're oh. required to play golf every morning. Before so you work. look like a Best Buy worker. Yeah, you have to play golf in the morning before you go to work. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and you have to have a purse. I don't know why. Just have to have it. Is is it like a satchel purse or like a, a Gucci you... bag purse? It's your choice, and you don't have to put anything in it. You can just you just have to carry it around, even when you're not on the clock. Oh. Also, yeah. I had to drive a hybrid. <laughs> yeah. Sounds yeah. like it, you just have to be pretentious. Yeah, it's Basically. just it's a very exclusive club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no offense to people who like Apple. Secret I, handshakes, all that. They, <laughs> they're not bad. They're just expensive and overpriced, and I don't want one. I have my iPhone, and even Starbucks that. Starbucks coffee cup. <laughs> You have to order Starbucks <laughs> three times a day. Vente. Yeah. Vente, yeah, you got to get 
you got to get the biggest size. It needs to be full of caffeine, so you're always just double shot. You, you look it's like true that any time you find an Apple store, there's a Starbucks right next door, right? Yeah. <laughs> and across the street, and there's and a Starbucks the inside the Apple store. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And you can buy your coffee from each of the three Starbucks every day, so you you know what I mean. Oh, you yeah. make the circuit. Yeah, you make the circuit. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> there goes all of our Apple listeners. Employees and, and customers alike. <laughs> There's a lot of Windows user jokes. AKA how does how do you know a Windows user? They don't know how to use their computer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, come on, that is the average user yeah. for real. Well, yeah. Uh, so why don't we switch gears a little bit? Speaking of people we're, we're pissing off, let's make it up to them right now. Let's hear from the Noob Nation. This is a segment where basically we ask you a bunch of questions. You've answered us via Twitter, our website, under the Contact Us spot, wherever, and we're going to uh, we're going to talk about those right now. So... I, was, I went crazy on the Everything Noob Twitter account this week. And uh, let's see. The first question I asked that got a pretty big response. Where was it? Where did it go? What's the most expensive game you've ever bought but hardly played? And we got a few here. From uh, from at Nkage the one. A year ago or so, I bought Civilization V for $40 and I never opened it. <laughs> there's a sh- wow. there's wow, a short period of time where I've wanted it. Yeah, I've I've done that before. I've bought games and played them once. So that's why I thought this was a pretty interesting question. Uh, at Norway's Viz, Vid says, Modern Warfare Three bought the special edition of the game. It was on the top of my most hated games of all time. I'm right there with you. You guys play that? You guys probably aren't Call of Duty fans. No, um, no, no, I actually that was the game. Uh, it was Call of Duty Black Ops. I bought it. 60 bucks. I got it. I, I went to the little midnight thing, you know, and went and bought it. And uh, I went ahead and played it for about a week. <laughs> it, it Well, Black Ops, no, I'm talking about Modern Warfare 3. Of, yeah, well, Modern Warfare yeah. 3, that, that supposedly is the best one. No. Or is it 2? Black Ops 2 was supposedly the best one, right? Well, that people are talking about. Modern Warfare 2 was amazing, in my opinion. Yeah, that Modern was Warfare one. 3 was exactly the same game. And that's why I was so angry. The menu was oh. the same. Everything, you didn't feel like you bought a new game at all. It feels like you got a, a patch update for Modern Warfare 2, and I, you paid $60 for it. So, yeah, that one's probably on my list of uh, most expensive games I've, ne- I've you know, hardly played. Uh, let's see. De- at Jed- Deadshot Studio says, Halo 4, bought it twice at $60 because the disc was scratched and I couldn't play it. Then I, d- then I downloaded it, haven't played it in, like, six months. Oh... <laughs> Ouch. Why would wow. no. you know what we did? I was playing Halo Three uh, with, with my friends a few years back when Halo Three was like brand new, and I had my Xbox at my friend's house. It was sitting upright, and usually it's laying down. And I had a memory card in it, and one of my friends was like, "Oh, you know, I need to go to the bathroom." So he stands up, and his head—he was listening to his iPod, his headphone cord caught the memory card and tipped the system, and I caught it just in time to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the disc was ruined, no. and it's like they explode in there, huh? No, they just get scratched really bad. I mean, if you uh. move it a little bit. So what we did is we were sitting there looking at it, like, well, we can't play Halo now. I'm thinking, what can we do? I bought this at uh, at the game store down the road. They're closed. It's like midnight. I'm like, I wonder. Let's try to go to Walmart. Let me just try something. I go to Walmart and I, I go to customer service, and I'm like, hey, you know, I just got this game. It was a gift, and I got it. And the disc was scratched. And they're like, oh, well, we can't give you your money back, but you can exchange it for another copy. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. you know, that would be great. And, yeah, they, they let me exchange it. And, I, you know, I never even bought it there. Shame on you. I know. I cheated Walmart. Sorry. I didn't mean to put them out of business or anything. <laughs> yeah, like you put a dent in their, you know, economic growth. If everybody <laughs> does it, they, it will. Yeah. That, the thing it, is, you're no. talking about this. How uh, this this kind of happened to my nephew, where he, uh, he it was Call of Duty Black Ops, where um, it actually cracked right where the, the 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 hole is, 
And yeah. so when you put it in there, for some reason, it, it started the crack started to grow across the whole thing till the crack got into the where the actual <laughs> data is on the disk, Aww. and it wouldn't work anymore. And see, this is the thing that I hate is when you know they put these restrictions so you can't copy, you know, especially when it's a disk like that. Um, you should be able to copy it, play the copied one, and keep the original one in a in a in your box. And leave it there, and then when the copy breaks, you can make another copy, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe. I but, mean, now with all the digital downloads and stuff, this isn't going to be a problem. People will have much longer. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, everything's right moving there, to the cloud. JC says, "You see, Steam doesn't have these problems." <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's, you just download it and go. Unless Steam has like <laughs> corrupt hard drives, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> well, let me plug this real quick. If you ever want to have a comment or anything on our show, very easy to contact us. Twitter, at E underscore N-O-O-B-S. Or go to our web website, everythingnoob.com. Hit contact us. You can you can leave us a voicemail. You can text us. You can leave us just a regular uh, feedback message. And, yeah, it could be on our show. Always be watching Twitter for questions that we may ask you throughout the week as well. So go check that out. Yeah. All right. There you go. Just wanted to plug it you know we don't plug it enough no. Like, no one talks to us we don't give them a reason to <laughs> <laughs> oh speaking of steam I, I i haven't brought this up i've been it past two episodes i haven't brought it up but i started a new website and i wanted to the dreadlowgaming.com oh yeah yeah where you can buy you can purchase games at a at a at a bigger a big discount and they're they all give you steam keys so you can use them on steam yeah they're brand new games and too brand new games and you just uh you just purchase them from the website, and um, you get it's. If some of the prices are the same, some of them might be even a little higher. But, but if you're wanting to purchase a game on Steam, check my website dreadlogaming.com. See if the game is available there for a, le uh, a less price, and then you just buy it there, and then get the Steam key, enter it into your Steam client, and you've got the game in Steam. So That'll you be might save yourself a few dollars. Uh, I've seen, uh, like for instance, um, Skyrim: The Legendary Edition is thirty-three ninety-nine, and it's still fifty-nine ninety-nine on Steam. So you get uh, twenty dollars off. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. So check it out, dreadlowgaming.com, and uh, it really helped me out because the whole purpose of it is my computer is starting to take a dump. So I'm trying to gain gain some uh, funds here to purchase a new one. And that would really help out because I do get a, a, f a five percent percentage of it or whatever for purchases. So it really helped me out if uh, people want to check that out. Yeah, no, that's great. It's gonna be linked in the show notes, and that's probably gonna be uh, that's a really good source for uh, for buying games. I'll tell you that right now. Also, it's through a company. It's uh, just a, it's through a company called uh, Game Fan Shop. So they they offer an affiliate program to people who have. Uh, like gaming YouTube channels and things like that, so that's how I got it. But it is a legitimate uh, website. I yeah. just wanted to state that. Absolutely. <clears throat> no, they've been around for a while, too, and uh, I know a lot of people involved with this affiliate program. So. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Also, uh, I've been considering this. I haven't even talked to you guys about this yet, but it's it's getting really easy to, it seems, stockpile on on games like for Steam, like Steam keys and stuff, because Humble Bundles come out all the time, and usually I don't buy into them if I have a couple of the games that are in them. No. So right, yeah. I'm, you. I'm thinking of saying, screw that, buying into them, and then giving away copies of those games that I already own. So, oh, that'd be good. Oh, idea. you could. Yeah, so yeah, be good. watching for that, because that might become an everything noob thing we start doing. Game giveaways. I've got a game to give away on off of Steam. Oh, yeah? It's still there, yeah. It's uh, Don't Starve. Oh, that's a good game. So we'll have to uh, do a contest deal. We'll figure out how we want to give that away. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen I've seen people do it a few different ways. Really big live streamers like to just randomly have like a, a robot posting Steam giveaways, like just at random <laughs> yeah. times, and the first person to type in the code gets it. I think that's the best way to do it. Oh, that's but crazy, it, though. It's not fair if only a couple it people really watch us live. You have to. Yeah. You got to do something that could. Uh, you got to earn those. it a little bit. Yeah, they got to earn it. They or something help out our recorded, you know, podcast listeners. We get a lot of those. And yeah, then, uh, it's not fair to them. So we'll figure something out. We'll get back to you. <laughs> yeah. So no, that's cool. Halo Three is going to be free. 
Speaking of free games. Does it? Free. How, how is it free? Like I don't know. It, it's I don't... Just, they're just doing that. Halo 3 will be I... available for free October 16th. On what, Xbox can I just Live. download it for my PC for no, free? No, no. Xbox Live. I guess they're they're doing this with a few different games, and Halo Three is one of them. What, what hmm. does that mean? You don't have to have Xbox Gold to play it online, then? It it's offered to I think oh Xbox gives away games Xbox Gold program. You need to be a gold member. Oh, so it's like a rental. Now. No, it's it, you download it for free. You have it forever. Yeah, well that's what I meant. Like as long as you have Xbox Gold, you have access to Halo Three. That's probably so I'm pretty sure as soon as you don't pay for gold, it's uh, if you don't, you know, have it already downloaded, you can't download it until you get gold again. I know I bought like I I just I just told the story about Halo Three uh, shredding on me and having to get it at Walmart, but it kind of I don't know it makes me a little bit agitated that that game that I paid sixty dollars for is all of a sudden free when Halo Two I could probably yeah. still buy used at a game store. It just I know it's a limited time offer. I, just, I don't know. I just feel cheated. <laughs> is it but is it like is it going to be like you get well, it for free for thirty days or is No, it it's permanent? free for, it's permanent, but here's I guess here's the catch. No one plays Halo three online anymore because that's two games behind. So really you're not getting the full benefit, so I can't wow. be too upset. I would assume that at least when at first, when that promotion is up, you'll see a lot of people playing multiplayer on it for a while, just for kicks. If, if the then... lobbies are even opened anymore, they could have closed those servers after Halo Ooh. Four came out. That's true. Because I think they were still open when Reach was out. Because I think Reach and Halo Three audiences were split down the middle. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people. Well, still if playing anything, this will this will build up a a, a new uh, player base. If they get if they give away a bunch of free Halo Threes, it might boost up a player base to kickstart those servers again. The first oh, one, yeah. Anybody who hasn't like bought into the series already for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, and then there'll be a bunch of people to play with again. The first one is definitely really good. I actually have the anniversary edition of it. And it was that good of a game. The anniversary edition gave it whole new graphics, like they updated it to today's standard. Mm -hmm. That's really all they did. And then they tied the lobby into I think it was the Halo Reach lobby. So you could still play multiplayer and on old maps, and even I think they even brought back that the pistol that was overpowered and stuff for those old games. I'm not positive about that, but no, it was just a cool game to play over again in single player. Yeah. So, yeah, Halo <clears throat> Halo One I would pay for again. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't play Halo Three again. It, you know, I have Halo Four. I wouldn't play it for the first time. You you never play it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I played through Reach, and, like, I literally nearly got every achievement for it until I sat down and realized, like, I hate this game. Why am I doing this? I, I did that with Halo 3. I almost got every achievement for it. I think I came really close. I was one or two away, and then they released an update that added a bunch of, more, you know, extra uh, achievements. Yeah. I, I, I said, screw it. I'm done. I got all the skulls. I was all proud of myself. And, you know, everyone was playing this game, and no one had... All the out of my friends list, no one had all the achievements. It was like me and one other Dang. person who were kind of silently competing with each other who could get all the skulls first, and uh, yeah. that was fun. But then they released all those new ones, and I'm yeah. And the multiplayer ones were tough too. And sometimes you'd enter a lobby, and people were like, "Hey, let's not kill each other. Let's just go for achievements." And some people would be like, "Yeah," and then there'd be a group of people like, "No." I'm going to kill all of you if you sit there going for achievements. <laughs> That's cute. I'm actually going to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get them legitimately, you stupid assholes? <laughs> oh, man. Like, if you want to get achievements, yeah. you get a closed game with your buddies. <laughs> so, I, I bothered you guys about something, and you came through for me. And we got to hash this out now. Uh, I asked you guys to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with me. Yeah. And I got... I don't. Yeah. I wanted someone to watch you know, because I have no one else to talk about it with. I don't know how I feel about this show because it just didn't excite me like I thought it would. However, I didn't even know what to expect going in, so I was stumped. I just watched it and I went, "Huh." <laughs> well, for me, I don't know much of the background um, of the, of Shield, so when I watched the first episode, 
it just threw in old characters from supposedly the shield in the past or whatever. Well, there was One a couple guy... from from Avengers. A couple of people. Yeah. Right, but it explained nothing to me. It just they just oh well, I thought you were dead. Oh well, no. Yeah. I'm in level seven oh, real... now. Oh 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 I understand that. That's real easy quick. To understand. This this could contain spoilers. <laughs> this could contain <laughs> Avengers and and Shield episode one spoilers. So if you haven't watched it yet and you were dying to. Just keep Avengers that in mind. is on Netflix. Avengers is on Netflix, and and Shield episode one is on Hulu. We haven't watched episode two yet. At this time, you're listening, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like I said. You know, uh, he goes. Uh, he he was talking to somebody, saying something about, well, you know, uh, his name is Olson, I think. Olson's dead, and he comes out of the dark, and he says, "No, I'm in level seven now, <laughs> or something." Or this is level seven. And he's going, oh, wow. Like, I'm supposed to understand what that is. Well, if you read you know, the comics... There's no background history whatsoever. They didn't really... I wanted to know what the plate was, the X-ray vision plate. Oh, like, just... what was that? <laughs> like, that just irked me to no end. It the looked plate. very promising when I saw that guy crawl up the wall. Then I thought, oh, this looks like a good one. And then I started watching a little further, and it, it just... It turned into a drama, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. No, it turned into random jump cuts. Random like, jump cuts. More jump cut cuts, drama. please. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And it seems it's... like there's more action than there really is. I got lost. But I'm willing to give it a chance. You know, unfortunately, I'm one of these people that feels like I have to watch it, no matter how much of a train wreck it becomes or if it gets better. I want to stick with it because I feel like if you don't, you're going to be missing a piece of The Avengers 2. Oh. And that's that's why I'm so torn because I really do not care about the show after watching episode one. That's basically my right. point. It it was boring to me. It didn't. It wasn't that exciting. I sat there. I'm like, eh, I could do without the show. And then I'm thinking, I really can't if I want Avengers two. You know, to to not have all kinds of things that people are like, oh, that's from the TV show. It's bad enough I didn't read the comics as a kid. Oh, I don't yeah, need. No, yeah. I don't need that too. Like, well, you watch TV all the time, man. Like, oh my god. You know, this is the whole show is based on its like own comic book series. Uh, uh, damn it, Marvel! Yeah, maybe we should explain. Well, I, I don't, don't know. know. Sky, really I really wanted to explain. choke her. Like she was so annoying. Who's that she now? Is that the? And, and then Fitz and Gibbons. She was pretty hot Fitz though. Gibbons, so whenever I I hated them too. Like everybody was annoying. I just the, was the like, cast... I need to throttle the life out of all of them. The cast is I... very annoying. I think. I liked poor Sky. acting and very annoying. She oh, no! She was very cute. She was very attractive. But, like, the second she opened her mouth or made, like, a facial gesture, I, I just was, like, rage. <laughs> Someone hit her. Someone hit her now. Please! She had a very punchable face when she started to make a face. Yeah. Or, you know, open her mouth. This is the the hacker one, right, from the van? Yeah, the hacker girl. Yeah, she's a, she's the, a hacker and girl. And might I say, for somebody who lives in a van. She looks very clean and kempt and like well to do. She oh, yeah, parks outside like... the Y. She goes and showers in, in the Y. Where, and... where? At a truck bus? No, at the YMCA. Yeah, it, was, it, was, she... it was weird. They were in a plane and they were talking about something. Then they jumped to her. She's in there and she's saying something. They're listening to her on the plane and then while she's talking they open up the van and they're there. How did they get there so fast? Jump cuts. Jump they had the, I the know, magic of but video it was editing. like within the same time frame. It was like, you know what I mean? That no, She's see, still I talking. understood that. They I, had a hover uh, car at the end of the episode. That you know what? Answer. That pissed me off. That them driving away in a in a um, what's that movie called? Come on, help me out. What's what? the, the oh, movie? What movie? The eighties one. The the Back to the Future. That yeah. oh, that's what I I'm like. Where we're going, we don't need roads. That's the first <laughs> thing that popped in my head, and they flew off. <laughs> like, this is the oh, stupidest. Man. Where did this car come from? It looks so che cheesy. I think cheesy is the best word to describe. Well, the guy was the same guy that was on the plane. It was way up in the freaking air. They had to have landed, drove. You know what I mean? It it takes some time, but with, while he was listening to her on the computer. Then all of a sudden it popped to her, like within a minute later, he opens the door, and he's standing there. How did he get there so quick? It's a jump cut, I'm telling um, you. Like, five hours later. It was a later. bad one. It was a bad one. Really bad one. There was no time frame whatsoever in there. Real time doesn't exist in this show. 
Uh, <laughs> I understood. For time some holes, reason that Wormholes. It was supposed to look like he got there in an instant, but what you have to understand is they were trying to give the illusion of the them monitoring her happened in the past, and it was this... Her... I understood it. That's all I'm, I can't yeah. explain it, but I, I got it. Yeah, you know? but it was just too obvious. It yeah. could have been a little bit more, you know... It, it's, yeah. it's a show... <laughs> It's on my list, unfortunately. I now. wanted that show to end very sadly. I did not want them to be able to save him. Oh, you didn't? You yeah. wanted? To, I thought. I thought it did for a little bit. No, he, he wasn't dead. They saved him, but yeah. I think he should have died. I really think he should have died. No, oh, he he turned into like super dick, really fast. He was. I'm wondering if this I feel was like a... it would have been more powerful and story driven. Like chat's yelling at me apparently, but. I, I think it would set a good like pace for where the show should go if they had had him die. I think that's fair. I think that... <laughs> I I just I feel like it would it would could only go up. Or that would be a better starting point than like, oh, every show's gonna wrap up nicely and it's gonna be a happy ending every time. Go team! Go team <laughs> Assassins! Assassins Assassins <laughs> like, <laughs> We got it! <laughs> This show makes no sense. They didn't assassinate anyone. Oh. <laughs> Everyone lived. I know. I, 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 I almost feel like the show was longer when they recorded it and made it than when they finally put it on. You know what I mean? No. No? No, I didn't understand a word of that. Oh, in other words, they made the show, say, you know, a, a two-hour movie. Okay. And then when they put it on the network, they had to cut it out. Oh, oh that, you're explaining the jump cut. Like a half hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it looked like to me. Like they they just chopped up some kind of movie and why made are it a show. why are all TV shows an hour long now? When did this become a thing that all TV shows have to be an hour flipping long? Because we like filler footage? It's not really an hour long. Well, okay, Seriously. it's 44 minutes, whatever you want to call it. It's too long. I can't. I have so many shows I have to watch this season. <laughs> Admittedly, it, I'm kind of behind the hour TV show. Not for show like sitcoms and stuff. No, those should be 30 minutes because you don't have enough content. But like for for dramas and things with really intense stories where you need to sit down and watch it, you need the hour to to fully explain everything. That's too many I shows. I feel like you do. I'm trying to figure out what I can cut out so I can keep up this season, but it's going to be a rough one. This is going to be a lot of time spent watching TV this winter. You have to cut fall. out one of those reality shows. And, and you know what's going to really the suck? X Factor. What, what really sucks is that pretty soon Jimmy Fallon's going to take over The Tonight Show. Yeah. And, of course, I'm going to watch like the last late night episode, the last Tonight Show episode, and the first Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon because I want to see that. Tra- I, that stuff interests me. You know, I, I like them. I, I don't watch them on a regular basis. I watch Conan on a regular basis now, but the only reason I watch him is because I started after he took over The Tonight Show. Because that's when I'm like, oh, you know, this looks interesting. So I watched it, and then I became a Conan fan. I don't want the same thing to happen with Jimmy Fallon, because I can't handle yeah. two late night shows I, a day. It's too much. <laughs> admittedly, I doubt you could the be Johnny a Jimmy Carson Fallon fan. I love Jimmy Fallon. I just can't watch it every day. I can't. No, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I watch his show every now and then, but like I can't ever be a fan of it because like some of it is pretty bad. <laughs> some of it's really funny, and then some of it's like really like, oh no, they did not. He did a Breaking Bad uh, parody, and I want to watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but it looks like it. I really good. liked the um, was it Game of Thrones one they did? I haven't. No, I haven't seen that either. That one was good. <laughs> Yeah, he he's he comes from an SNL background, like, and he tries to make his show like SNL every night. And I think that's why it's very very entertaining and, and winning so much in the ratings because it's just people love it. It's so many segments and stuff, and he doesn't just have his guests sit there and talk about what they're doing. He forces them on the stage to play a game, some stupid game, you know. So he they try really hard to appeal to a younger audience. And uh, which what who is this? Now? Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Okay, I was gonna say. Conan, when he first started, it was hard for him to get good guests on there. Yeah, that usually is for late night too, because yeah. uh, the Tonight Show is earlier, and that's when all the the high profiles come on. And then 
uh, all of the the scraps go to the the later shows. Yeah. So and that's what kind of kind of sucked because well, I'm glad he's doing good now though. Yeah. He does. He deserves it. He's been through a lot. Excuse anyway. me. Yeah, that's uh, just a little sidetrack. But man, oh man. I'm not gonna enjoy uh, <laughs> fall. This it, year. Are we are we gonna continue to watch Agents of Shield? Is this gonna be like a uh, wrap up segment? I'm. <laughs> we could talk if you want. I'm gonna continue watching it only because, like I said, I have to. I, mean, I gotta I will know. I suffer through it because, like, it's bad it's, enough it's, that I can do it. Yeah, and it's kind of like it's weird. It's like, oh, but I want to watch it. You know, because I want to see what's going to happen and stuff. No, I want to see how they're going to the put weirdest... this thing together. But I need you two to commit. Like, I'll commit. No, I'm like... committed. Here's the problem. Yeah, I'll watch it. This is the weirdest experience I've ever had with a TV show because this is one of the first times I've sat and watched a show I was excited about, not enjoyed it, not wanted to watch it again, but feel obligated to. And it, it sucks because I really have no desire to watch this show. I have none. Zero. The only thing keeping me watching it is the fact that I'm going to miss something well, when yeah, Avengers 2 a... comes out. And that's I the better, reason why I'm going to watch I better it. get a payout when I watch this whole damn show. There better be at least one <laughs> stupid reference to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in that damn movie. I'm going to be so livid and pissed <laughs> if I sit through this entire crap shoot that is called a TV show and they don't mention it once. Oh, well, the Just events in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are killing themselves now. <laughs> the, the events in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. happened before Avengers 2. Avengers 2 is actually a prequel to the Avengers 1. <laughs> I think that well, there's one point in the movie that I thought was really funny when she asked, do you know what S.H.I.E.L.D. means? And I know what they were trying to do, set set up the show. Yeah. But his answer was, well, I just think they, they needed a, a good name to spell out S.H.I.E.L.D. Shield. Yeah, they wanted our initials <laughs> to spell S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, didn't they use oh. that joke once before? I don't know. It, it was. I, I just liked how that was a, the funny moment in that movie for me. <laughs> It, I'll watch it. Don't worry. And okay. for those of you who don't want spoilers, I don't know what to tell you. It's going to be something we end up spoiling at, <laughs> once in a while. So you Suffer should just watch us. it. Suffer just with us. Suffer with us. Yeah. Weekly. yeah. It's on Hulu. There's no excuse. If if we do talk about it, we'll wait till the end of the show, and I think so that'll be a fair trade. End early. And we'll warn yeah. you. We'll always warn you. I don't like you know. Well, I don't like people. Watch to spoil it become things. as big as Breaking Bad. Oh my, and we're no, like, that'll never happen. We're like the only three people on the planet who are like, oh yeah, god, let me just check. We look out. bad. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. we're one of those weirdos who doesn't like the new Breaking Bad of you know whatever. No, <laughs> it won't ever be that good. I'm sorry. No, nothing can beat that. Well, it's about time to wrap up though. So, all right, well, our next episode is going to be episode 50, and we're basically going to be celebrating one year of the podcast. So that's awesome. Yes, that's neat. How it was fifty? Well, maybe we'll talk and we'll try to figure out how to give away a game for that one year show. Oh yeah, games. that's a good idea. Fun. Yeah. So. So we missed two uh, episodes this whole year. I think we missed more than that. I think we, there was a long stint where we didn't do anything. We didn't do any episodes, well, and then we came there's back. 50, there's fifty-two weeks in a year. Uh... You know what? I don't know. That's weird how that time frame works out. It's interesting, out. huh? It's interesting. I'm just saying the upload date in the first episode, October 9th. That's yeah. all I know. So maybe we missed a couple weeks in a row and then haven't missed one since. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So. That's interesting. Anyway. All right. You guys can go uh, make us a Wikipedia page, and then we'll find the answer there. <laughs> oh, tweet us what you think of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. too. Yes. Yes, Please. definitely. At E underscore N-O-O-B-S, or just visit everythingnoob.com. Twitter link is there. Contact us is there. What did you think of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Are we all crazy, or should we even bother watching it anymore? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank are you, everyone. Are we just that what? dumb? Yeah, are we just that right. dumb for continuing to watch it? We will see you all next time. Take care. Goodbye, everybody. Once I find the outro. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Everything Noob podcast. Be sure to visit everythingnoob.com for previous episodes, show notes, host bios, and blogs. And while you're there, feel free to write us with any questions, comments, or suggestions you may have. Don't forget to check out the links to our Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch TV channel as well. On behalf of the noobs, see you next week, and happy gaming. Yay, we win. <laughs>